to help in my demo before. Today I will try to show how to I create uh, filtering data on the Flutter flow. Okay, uh, first thing first, I want to show the logic on my diagram. This is uh, quite simple, I think. Um, first thing is the when the user open the member page, uh, the page uh, will be reset all those parameter. Anyway, I have a four parameter to filtering uh, this data. Uh, the first thing is param name, param phone, param city, and param that join. So when the user open the page all those parameter will be set to null or clear and then all data will be shown because uh, I set or I configure the list view will be showing the collection data and then uh, will ignore the empty value after that uh, if user uh, do filtering data and set uh, the value that uh, user want to show in the list view so the the apps that will be set with its um, its value and then the data will be show and on the flutter flow first thing is on the app set just ignore um, ignore uh, app stat before param name. Uh, I have a four parameter as uh, I told you guys, and then um, three parameter with uh, string data type, and then uh, the param that join with data type that time, and then in the specific pairs that uh, have. A list view on on page load um, even I set uh, one action to uh, which is update app stat and then um, add field to set the our clear value for its uh, app stat parameter and then uh, for the list view, I set uh, the query uh, with I, I choose the collection of members and then uh, the query type is list and then I put uh, the filter. Uh, the first one is uh, will be search full name with uh, relation equal to with a uh, param name this is uh, the app stat param name and then phone equal to param phone and then city equals to param city and the last one is join that or uh, less than equal to param that join okay After that, in the icon, I set action to call bottom seat that I already created. Uh, I have a uh, four field name, phone, city. This is a drop down with a static uh, value, and then uh, the last one is a that join and the and when the user click show data so this is uh how, this is where i put the logic i put for condition the first condition is when user filled uh text text field name which is uh, this one so 
So the app stat parameter uh, param name will be set to this value and then if a uh, text name not set so I will clear the app stat parameter. So that how I create the other else. And then uh, in the last of the action is I dismiss the the bottom sheet. Yep. Okay, uh, I think that's it from me to this video. If you guys have any question or any advice to me, uh, just comment in the comment section below. I will very very appreciate it. And then um, thank you for watching this video.